Good morning. It's time for Bible. Before we begin, let's go ahead and pray. I would like for you to pray after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for your blessings. I hope you help us learn our Bible study today. And Jesus, we pray. Amen. So this week and last week, we've been talking how a special friend we have in Jesus, how special he is to you, how special he is to all of us, and how Jesus, he was a very special friend to three people, and we talked about those three people, it's Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Jesus was so special to these three people because he helped the three of them in many special ways. We know and we review with Martha, he helped her so much. He helped her focus on what was important in her life. With Mary, he helped Mary have forgiveness. She felt peace in her heart as she listened at Jesus' feet. And Lazarus, he brought him back to life. So Lazarus is also a great friend and Jesus is a special friend today. And today, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to picture a salt shaker and pretend that salt shaker, you're putting salt when you're cooking or your mom is cooking and you add salt to your food. You add salt to food that doesn't taste uh very tasty and with the salt it tastes better so imagine the most delicious food in the world you've ever had but no salt okay open your eyes so imagine no salt at all we could not add salt to any of your foods to the when their moms cook they add some salt to add some little flavor sometimes some moms don't add salt, and that's okay. There's different other things you can add, but imagine no spices at all. No salt, no pepper, no onion. You cannot add anything to add flavor. No garlic, no tomatoes. Imagine taking away all that that makes food taste good. Imagine making cookies. Let's say we have a cooking lesson, and in that cooking lesson, you cannot add sugar to your cookies. You cannot add chocolate. You cannot add any ingredient. All you can have is that dough, and that's all you can use for your cookies. What do you think those cookies would taste like when you have a cookie, but you cannot add anything to it? Just plain. Now, imagine I say, okay, now, Let's make these other cookies and you can add chocolate chips, you can add M&Ms, you can add nuts, you can add dried apricots, you can mix some spices, you can add sugar to those cookies. When you eat those cookies, hmm, those special ingredients change the cookies. The cookies now taste better and it enhances the flavor. That's what Jesus does to us. He enhances our character. He makes us more special. He does things for you. He does things for me. Jesus um, also allows us to have friends that we can be like the salt to their lives. We can be like, you know, the chocolate chips, the flavors to our friends in our lives, to their life. And we can be special and feel and make their life special. Just like Jesus makes our life special. I want to share with you a scripture, a Bible verse that's in Proverbs. I want you to repeat after me. Say Proverbs 27, 9. One more time. Proverbs 27, 9. Repeat after me. The sweet smell of incense can make you feel good. But true friendship is better still. Wow, true friendship. My prayer today is you find true friendships. It's better than the smell of sweet incense. 
mm, that beautiful smell when your mom turns on a candle or when your mom cleans the beautiful tiles or the tables and this smells so good or it puts an incense in your house that makes the house smell real good it says that friendship is better much better still than smelling a flower smelling incense smelling something beautiful a beautiful perfume friendship is even better than that so my prayer is for you to have special friendships not only with people or friends but also with jesus Jesus is our number one friend. He loves us so, so, so much. And he wants to be that special friend. And for today's Bible activity, I am going to send you an activity with salt shakers, little salt shakers. And you're going to write on each, there's five salt shakers. You're going to write, what has Jesus done to be a good friend to you? How is Jesus a good friend? And tell me different things he's done for you as a special friend, like he did for Lazarus. He gave him life. For Mary, he forgave her. For Martha, he focused her on what's important. What has five things Jesus has done for you? Um, as a best friend, as says your best friend, as a best friend in the world for you. So when you're done with that Bible activity, I also want you to uh let's sing that song of this week the it's called like a deer and that right there that song is how our hearts um love jesus so much that jesus loves us with all his love with everything he does for us but the deer pants for the water brooks so my soul plans for you god that's what psalm says and this is a song we're learning this week, or we're singing. You already know, sing with me. You can look it up. Look up the song on Shobi app. I send it to you again. Desire and I long to worship Thee. You are my strength, my shield. To You alone, may my spirit feel. You alone are my heart's desire. I long to worship you. Amen. We worship God this morning. Sing with all your heart. My friend, and you are my brother, even though you are my king. I love you more than any other so much more than anything so let's tell him how special he is you alone are my shield to you alone may my spirit yeah. amen you alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship Thee. We worship Jesus with all our heart. Let's sing to Him louder. I want You more than else, or oh, silver only. Can satisfy. Alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. He is our strength. He's our shield and he is with us. Desire 
and I long to worship you. Amen. What has Jesus done for you? As your best, best, best friend in the world, he's done so much for my life. He has given me another year of life. He's given me oxygen. He's given me food. He's helping me. He's giving me family. He's giving me good friends. He's giving me amazing students. Jesus has done all that for me. And he's done all that for you and much, much more. So for today, Spend some time with Jesus in prayer. Listen to this worship song. I will put the YouTube video again so you can see it again and sing the song. And also do your Bible activity and write on the five salt shakers. On each one, write down one thing Jesus has done for you. As your best friend, he's done something for you. So, I mean so excited so happy to see you again this morning don't forget tomorrow 11 in the morning our zoom meeting have a great day bye